Hi, I'm Amy from the Genealogy and Local History Department of the Kokomo Howard County Public Library. This short program on the Ancestry database will show you how, some quick ways to use wildcards and exact matches to help you find your search strategy. So let's get into Ancestry and we will do a search all categories. Wildcards are used to broaden your search options, and these are good when there are several possibilities for spelling a name. There are two types of wildcards, and each one has a specific function. A question mark is one of the wildcards, and it's used to replace a single letter in a name. And here is an example. There are times when this name is spelled in different ways. So if I put a question mark in here and a search, it's spelled with a T. Down here, there's a D, there's an M, there's another M. The name I would look for is with O-R-T, but there are cases where it is spelled differently and they're not ones you may want to overlook. So remember, a question mark is used to replace one character. Now, there's another wild card you can use, and it's the asterisk. The asterisk is used to find from zero to five letters. So let's try this one. Let's say I'm going to look for T-O-B with an asterisk, and the search key will give us some answers here. There's Toby, there's Tobin, Tobol Talk, there's Toby with an E. So here again, there's a Toby with an IE. There, these are different ways of, of spelling names and you may not want to lose those opportunities. One more trick with the asterisks is that if you put it at the beginning of a name, you'll have other spellings. Just make sure you put three at least three letters after it. So if I use an asterisk and put E L, no, I'm sorry, let's use the asterisk with L I A and see what names we get there. And this will give you Cornelia, Calalia, Celia. You can see there's lots of different different spellings for this name. Again, a way to help you locate names if you're not real sure of the spelling or if you suspect there could be various spellings. Now, if you're looking for specific names, dates, or locations, the strategy can change. And there is something called match all terms exactly. And this will restrict it to being specific terms. So here we go again. I'm going to get into a search strategy. And I used this name earlier with the question mark. This time I want it exactly as I'm spelling it. So if I hit this exact, I will, my answers will only be at that spelling. I can say sounds like or similar or sound X if I choose. In this case, I specifically want that spelling. And I want to find the people by that name only in Indiana. So here again, I will hit exact, but I could stay a state or adjacent states. But let's see what's happened here when I look for just exactly these terms. And here I have only with that spelling, only in Indiana. And this is a way to narrow the search if you know pretty specifically what you're looking for. You see there are 505 hits with this name exactly. Now, if I were to move this little button backwards just a bit, now I'm going to have state and adjacent states. So it's not quite exact, but maybe I want to know about Indiana, Illinois, Ohio, and such. I've updated. My numbers jump to 576. And there will be somewhere in here. I think Indiana will show up first. And the further down in the list you go, you will then begin to find other states. So you see there's 27 screens here. 
you'll find it probably closer to the end, you'll find other states. So you can also go to specific collections and that will narrow your search down a bit more. And that is a very quick tutorial on how to use wildcards, the question mark and the asterisks, or use the exact search feature of Ancestry. Thanks for watching. Bye.